Hi, I'm Sherry Safaldi Morrill of Whole Circle Studio, and I am here today in my studio, which happens to be in my home just outside New Haven, Connecticut. I am a designer, an illustrator, and a quilter. Some of the things that I do are designing and publishing my own quilt patterns, and I also teach and give presentations, both live on line through Zoom um, and also in person when it is safe to travel. Um, welcome to my studio. I'm going to go ahead and grab the camera and give you a tour. So let's have a look around. In addition to this space upstairs in my home, I also have another space downstairs where I do mostly photography, presentations to guilds and shops, um, as well as some classes. Some of my classes I teach from up here as well. Um, as you can see, it's not a very big space but let's take a look at some of the details. Um, over here, I have my computer where I do all of the business stuff from writing patterns to designing to emails and all of that good stuff. Um, also, of course, teaching. I have some cameras and extra lighting that I set up when I'm teaching. And right to the left of my computer, I have my primary machine that I do all my piecing and quilting on. It's also very convenient to have it next to my big monitor so I could watch Netflix while I'm quilting away. Um, my specialty, I love machine piecing. I also do a lot of hand piecing, but machine piecing is primarily what I do and walking foot quilting is my jam. Um, I teach it as a class and as a technique and something I love. I quilt all my own quilts. Um, here you can see a selection of threads I have for a quilt that I'm working on currently quilting. I'll pan over and show you. It happens to be on the table. Um, it's almost quilted, just a few little details here and there. Um, while we're over here, I'll show you my primary work table. Um, it's this trusty table from Ikea with adjustable legs. I actually have a second table nested underneath that I could pull out while I'm working on bigger projects or I pull out that table and put it next to my machine to have sort of, when I'm quilting, to have extra support on the left-hand side. Um, everything happens on this table from cutting to piecing to planning um, to even some pattern stuffing. I have some a couple of patterns there that I need to, to take care of after. Uh, fabric, we all love our fabric. My stash is a little bit out of control. Um, you could see those bins are popping open. I really like to organize my fabric by color. And these bins on the left-hand side are anything that are about a fat quarter to a half a, qu half a yard or larger. And then anything smaller than that, I also have by color to the right there in those smaller bins and then some bolts and then just some miscellaneous things. Um, I also, no shame, I'll show you, I have more fabric right now underneath um, and also some bins elsewhere. So I need to, um, to start using up some of this and do some purging. Um, I also have close by my pressing mats. I love these wool mats. Um, and recently I also started using some wood, pieces of wood um, in place of tailor's clappers to get really, really, really flat seams. I do a lot of foundation paper piecing and these definitely help along with some hot irons. Um, thread, again, this is, I'll show you some, some of my th other organizations, specifically thread. Let me grab my thread stash. Being in such a small space, I have to be pretty creative. Um, you can see there's a printer, my color printer's stashed under there. Um, but what I really wanted to show you was my thread, um, at least how I'm kind of organizing it. And this is just some of my thread right now. I have this, um, this beautiful cabinet that my mother-in-law has given me that was in the family. And then other ways that I organize, of course, every studio or every space needs some sort of wall space to organize blocks. Right now I have some quilts that are part of my block of the month that I have displayed from a Zoom that I did earlier this week. But behind this quilt on the wall is some batting, actually wrapped, um, bat 
insulation wrapped in batting. So right now I have this quilt pinned. I can actually stick pins through it to display, or I have that batting that blocks will stick to on its own. Um, one other thing I picked up recently was from Ikea. I think it was like 15 or $20. It is a stand that you could typically put um, hangers on for a wardrobe. Um, it works really well for a little impromptu quilt stand just to have more um, places to display quilts. So thanks for joining me on my tour again of my small but mighty space and um, I hope to see you all online or in person. Take care.